Hey, Henry! Henry! Oh! <laughs> Sorry, thought you were Henry Deacon. No, Dr. Trevor Grant. Nice to meet you, Trevor. Nice suit. You do Eureka proud. I prefer Dr. Grant. And you are? Already sick of Founders Day. Look, um, Doc, could you give me a lift back in the town? Uh, my phone's dead. I got some tree shrinkage to deal with. <sighs> sure, for sport. Climb on in. Thanks. Looks great, by the way. Oh, no way. Sorry about this, sir. Major Ryan's orders. No hard feelings, soldier. Hold your hands. Hold my hands. OK, I'll see you later. Grant. I haven't seen him since last night. I'm afraid he's not answering. Uh, we're gonna have to find out who else Grant knows. Given his unique circumstances of past employment in Eureka, Dr. Grant's file would be stored in GD archives. Well, let's get some history on our town historian. Uh, Andy, watch him. From one baseball fan to another. I'll be seeing you, sport. They don't call me sport. Jack Robinson. Hey. Where's Grant? Um, getting on a private jet, I assume. <sighs> I'm afraid he's not the only one I have to go to Washington to testify. He's got your back. They could be so cruel. Hmm. Well, we've waited this long. It's only a few days. And then I promise I'm not going anywhere. I can hold you to that. How about just hold me? There's no sign of Beverly. Well, I'm sure she has noble goals. She's become too focused on amassing power. Well, you know what they say, absolute power corrupts. Absolute. 